hello and thank you to watch my channel solo action and today i configure vip phones so first we have to select the router and switch and phones so first we select here switch and then after we have to select the phones so first we go here we ip phone zero so we ip phone select we ip phone select so this all phones are here so first we have to configure fast ethernet and switch and then go to here so first we connect through the cables here so this is cable straight through goes to switch and the second patch cable goes to here switch three okay and this patch cable we connect to the router through the fs00 port so fs001 then we have to configure the network so fast to go here and this here so so double click on here cli mode for router no for no dialog so enter enable command for enable router config t config t so configure terminal FAC interface FA0 slash 0 we configure the router first so enter IP address 192.168.5.1 class C subnet mask 255.255.255.0 enter and no shut no shut so this should be up enter and go back to IP DSCP port so so we set up the uh, DSCP pool for so IP DHCP pool VOIP then enter and then after we have to set up the network so network should be command so NETW ORK network so it's 192.168.5.1 the subnet mask is same is 255.255.255.0 is a class C same so enter and then we have to set up the default router so LT default router ROUTR router and is the default gateway should be so it's one 92.168.5.1 enter option and it shows like we have the DSCP option like 0 to 254 so we can select like any if you like but 150 is you have to configure for if you want to VIP so 150 and then you have to give the IP address so let's go IP 192.168.5.1 and then enter and after we go for telephony service so configure the phones so G E L E P H O N Y Telephony Service SEO Service Enter and we have to configure the 
phones like how many phones we have to configure so if say if you want to like five six four ten depends on the network or how many you want to configure so i just put max e p h o n e s max e phones i can put maybe four enter max like the button so it's like m a x max d n four enter and ip source address like the same the default grid so it should be ip s o u r c source address ip source address is same is what we put here so it's 192 2.168.5 dot one and if port we have to set the port so port if you don't know just here and it shows like we can have the port number start from 2000 so 999 like 9 9999 so we can configure like the port is 2003 and enter and then after we have to go back to assign the so you when we can assign the auto assign so it means it's automatic assign the number so a u t u auto a, auto assign three two six three two six to assign same as auto assign is one two four so one two four then you can search if, if you want like start from here so we can start the e phone button we can configure so now we can use e p h e phone d n one so it's configure the one button d n one and is a number i can use like three 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 enter this is not valid so it's like five five so it's so, so SN UMBER number triple three. Oh, it's assigned. So I think here is some. So when you go to phone two, so it's like same thing E phone DN two is up so number and you can be your number three 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 four enter and exit from here so this is configured so we close this box here and we can come into switch for access so if we have to set up the switch first so So if we go here, click on switch and go to CLI mode. No. Enable config T interface range. Interface R A N G F A zero slash one two two six and switch port 
switch switch port mode access So we assign the uh, trunk mode for the uh, VLAN one, and then it should be good. So first we go here, close this one, and it looks like it's getting the configure right now. So we have to go back here. We have to put cable on it, and it's power on. So we have to do same thing here for this PC of this, this phone. So we go here and just click on that and just wait for a few minutes so we go here back here enter so it's take a little bit time for configure the network so we go back here and it's look like pd remove so enter enter so it's look like here he's getting the c and here it shows like his phone is connected to this number 334 and you over the mouse and it's assigned the default gateway and it's working so we can test here too also we can go here and first we check is getting ip or no so it's getting 333 so basically both getting the signal and both what we can test here we can go here gui mode and we can go is like here so we can it's a 333 three, three. one two three we may call here and, and this one is ringing so we go here and it's blinking when we open this one and it's say connected so this is working and this call from this number so we configure the phones and it's work fine so if you have any question please ask me if you like my channel like and subscribe thank you